Hi, it's me Jazzy. I'm back with another tech related video. And today it's kind of a mini mailbag slash lucky dip kind of thing. I've been bargain hunting on eBay again, somewhere I spend way too much time. I found a couple of lots of mixed electronic components that no one else had bid on. So I was pretty lucky. So I've spent a total of 10 pounds, would you believe, with, I believe somewhere in the region of six pounds postage for the two packages. So it's two separate lots from the same seller. So I paid a fiver each lot, no one else bid on them. So whether I was just lucky or whether there's a whole bunch of stuff in here I don't need, that's also a possibility. I just thought you might be interested to take a look with me at what you can get for a tenner on eBay these days. If not, just skip ahead to the end and see what I got. But then you might miss all the best bits. So let's get these over on the bench, get the overhead camera on and see what £10 gets you on eBay these days, if you're lucky. Got to be in the right place at the right time, I think. Right, let's see what we've got. Now, if my memory serves me well, which it does not, this was just a whole mixture of components, some new but mostly used. But they seemed like useful things, as is always the case with eBay. I do love looking for a bargain on eBay. And just occasionally, I'm in the right place at the right time and no one else has bid. It happens less and less these days. There's a lot more competition for secondhand electronics equipment and components. So what have we got? First of all, I'm seeing some useful tools here. 564ths, okay. Roebuck, right. So we've got some, got some little tools here, okay. I mean, bear in mind that this, this whole package was a fiver, plus three pounds something, I think, postage. So it's not exactly a lot of money. And it looks like there's quite a lot of value. There's some relays in here. Look at these. Oh, a load of relays. Nice. RS components. Oh, look at that. We've got some... Uh, Power transistor sockets, they're pretty handy. DC relay, 24 volt, 475 ohms. Okay, right. Thin rail stuff. Random bag stuff. Right, what do we have in here? Oh, this looks quite old. Interesting. Some sort of switch. Lever switch, pretty old. Interesting though, what well, that came out of. Now what's in here? It's like a power resistor, I think. Let's have a look, closer look. Oh, it's, it's wire wound, 3K, could be useful, I guess. Not too shabby. What's in here? Hmm, okay. Not sure totally that I've come across one of these. Well, if you know what this is, feel free to let me know in the comments below. I'm not too sure myself on that one. More electrical stuff, thin rail stuff, terminal blocks. Okay. And some high quality looking military connectors. Very nice. Not that useful to me. I haven't got the plugs for them. Okay, load of wire there, some connectors on. Might be PTFE, not sure. Okay, what do we have in here? Just a real mixture of stuff. What have we got in this bag? Some sort of filter, perhaps? Let's have a look. Hmm. If I can get the bag open. Okay, air filter maybe? Not sure, doesn't look like it's been used. It's for a HP. HP what? I'm not sure. Okay, another bag of stuff. What we got here? Mm, it's an old slider pot. 1k ohm. Boxer sim better days. 
have a look. Oh, okay, a little bit corroded maybe. Hmm. Definitely old. What else is in here? All sorts of stuff. Not sure what to expect. Another switch. Lever switch. Latching one. Quite old. Nicely made though. Some, I'm not sure, some sort of mounting for something. And what I thought was a motor, no, it's a potentiometer aircraft. Aircraft controls limited. Okay. Some sort of little inductor there. And what we've got here, some rubber, possibly anti-vibration mounts or standoffs. What else we got? Oh, a nice relay there. That's not bad. Single pole changeover relay. Let's get rid of the bag out of the way. Right, last couple of bits from this pack. Looks like a bag of pots. It is, yeah. Colvin wire round potentiometers. 2000 ohms. Okay. Yeah, they feel okay. You can feel the wires in there. So, what have we got? 1000, 5000, and 2000. Okay. And we've got these big Colvin ones, probably rated at two or three watts each. Twenty thousand ohms. Yeah, they seem all right. I'm sure, I can use them for something. Attenuators, by the look of it. Oh yeah, HP probe attenuator. Random earth lead. Always handy, I guess. Now this is a bit of a mystery one. Not sure about this. I wondered if it's some sort of crystal oven oscillator. It's got the two adjusters on the side. Anybody more knowledgeable on this particular item, please feel free to let me know down below. And just a bag of screws. Okay, let's see what's in package number two. More potentiometers in here. Ah, some random little housing. Okay, not sure what that's for. Oh, we've got a whole load of pots in here. Interesting. Okay, 100k. Mm. Not sure what make they are, but ah, they look all right. They might be useful. You never know. Always the optimist. Okay, what's next? Right, I think that's it in this box. Get rid of the box. A couple of metal plates and a bag of what looks like transformers. And what have we got in here? It was nine ninety nine, whatever it was, including VAT. Oh, it's a motor, is it? Swiss made. Okay. Interesting. It's got a bit of paper with it as well. Clock motor wiring diagram. Oh, what sort of clock? Okay. Oh, we've got another one of these aircraft potentiometers here. Made in Yeovil. A couple of uh, Jones, what well, looks like Jones plugs and sockets. Inductors of some sort by the look of it. And some sort of brush wipers. I'll ever need those, but you never know. Now, this, I believe, is the Transformers. Nicely packed up. They've done a nice little job wrapping all these up. Oh, well, that's a small one, isn't it? Maybe an inductor? Gardener. Okay. A bit small for a transformer. And, oh, solenoids. Very nice. Yep, there's the pole piece in the middle. That would be pulled in when the core is magnetised. Oh, they look all right. Looks like I've got four of those. And another transformer, HP Limited. Okay, possibly out of some sort of test gear or something. And some nice little transformers. 
Another one here. Okay, no discernible make or name or anything on them. And I believe I've got four of these the same. I'm not sure what they're rated at. I guess I'll have to test them out at some point and find out. So I've laid out what I reckon is the best bits out of these two packages shot here from my mini drone. Let me know in the comments section what you think. Do you think I got great value? I think this is well worth the £16 I paid for it, including the postage. The power transistor mounts might be useful. Those relays are certainly worth the money. And the transformers could come in handy. Well, I think that was pretty good value for money. I don't know about you. There's a lot of bits there I can see me using. There's a few that are going to go in the drawer. But I'm looking forward to checking out those transformers because I've got a couple of projects in mind for those. So we'll have to have a look at testing what I can get out of those. So it's actually worth the cost of the auctions and the postage just for the relays alone, really. So it just goes to show that there are bargains out there to be had. If you're on eBay in the right place at the right time and no one else has bid, you can get yourself an absolute bargain. So I hope you've enjoyed taking a look at this mini mailbag of various components. If you've enjoyed this and you'd like to see more mailbag style videos please let me know in the comments down below i'm always interested to know i'll be back soon with some more tech related videos but in the meantime take care and i'll see you on the next one